Today, MTD CNC have travelled to Colleg Manai in Anglesey on this rather rainy and windy day, but that's not stopping us because we're going to head on inside and see why they invested in XYZ machines for their students locally and internationally. Damien, you've got a fantastic facility here and we've got lots of students working away around us. What, what's their ages and what, what are the courses that you're offering? Okay, so we've got school groups who are 14 to 16 and then we've got 16 to 19 year olds and then more mature learners. And, and what are the courses, what's the titles of those courses that you offer? Okay, so the main programme we do here is called Performing Engineering Operations, where they'll develop the hand skills and then they'll work on two other bits of equipment we have here called lathes and millers. Okay, and we've got, I think it's, is it 12 mills that we've got behind us? Yeah, so we've got 10 brand new uh, XYZ machines here and then a couple more XYZ that came from our old uh, site in Bangor. And how are you bridging the gap for the students between this educational side and actually going out to industry? So a lot of our learners, once they've completed a year with us, they'll then go out into industry on full-time programmes or on apprenticeships. And then if they're on an apprenticeship, they'll come back to us a day a week to carry on developing skills. It, re it really is incredible and there are so many students here. It's so lovely to see. Who decides then on the purchases? So it's the staff themselves who work in engineering and then in conjunction with local companies, they decide on the equipment that, that we've purchased. So the local companies help you decide as well? Yeah, we try and make sure that the equipment we have in these rooms are the equipment that the learners will see once they get out into the real world. So yeah, bridging the gap between the education and industry. So Callum, you've been working on the XYZ SMX2000. How have you found it? Um, really, it's kind of easy to work and that you just put it into the machine and it does it all for you it's quite simple to understand at the moment I'm making a hexagon nut and I'm just setting the Z Y and X coordinates it's simple and easy to do how easy do you find the XYZ machines uh, it's not easy when you start but as you get on you use all the programs it gets easier as you go along Re summarize to me why XYZ machines are perfect for an educational facility. Well, they're good quality machines. We've had no problems with them. Um, the students love using them because uh, they can go from using a, a manual machine into some easy programming. They're just really good machines for the students to start with. You know, some of them will come in and they've never been on a machine and they'll uh, they pick it up pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. 